Hello everyone, welcome to another Wednesday Nest Day, and today we are taking a look at Metal Mech. Metal Mech, also called Metal Mech Man and Machine, is a 1991 action game. It was developed by Sculptured Software, and it was published by Jellico. Uh, the Japanese title of this, I'm trying to remember exactly what it I think it was something like Metal, Metal Storm Sci-Fi or something like that. It had a much better name, at least a much more interesting name. But, if you're looking here at the attract mode, we play as a pilot for this big armored ED-209 looking robot. Actually, I looked up the manual for this game. The character's name is Tony Martin, and the big robot is Metal Mech. Now look at this. Look at- this is stage 6. I've never made it this far. I didn't even know this was part of the game. But this looks really cool. Hopefully... Hopefully when we play a little bit today, maybe we'll get that far. And we can get an idea of what that part of the game is like. Um, this game has been compared to Blaster Master. And I wouldn't say f it's been favorably compared to Blaster Master. Because we will alternate between piloting our mech and running around as our little dude there. Sort of like how we see right here. Alright. As I understand, there are six levels. And we'll see how many we can get through. So we should be playing in earnest now. Alright, level one. Alright, so there we are. Moving around as our mech. Left and right, of course, moves us left and right. If we can shoot with the B button, and we can jump with the A. We can change the angles of our shots with the directions we press. And we can also duck. Now, in our metal mech, we are extremely tough. We can take a lot of abuse. And I believe it's... Let's see if it's select or is it start to jump out of our mech. Oh, there's the credits. Might as well just take a minute to look at them real quick. It does not like me pressing these buttons. We gotta eject, though. There we go. So now we're in control of our little dude. Controls are pretty much the same. Including being able to shoot in different directions. And when we play as our little dude here, we get to explore areas, and we want to look for keys and power-ups, so we can move on to the next stage. Okay, gotta get back into our robot. There we go. Had to hit select to get back into the robot. This tank is pretty tough. I'm not even sure if I can hit it. It's just too low to the ground. I have to get out of our mech to fight it. Careful now. Now, to the best of my knowledge, we don't go in buildings or anything. But we do climb up ladders and stuff. And what do we got up here? Is it a thing? Alright. I forget the different power-ups. I should have the instruction manual here looking at the symbols. Just fall. 
I do remember there's some weird parts where there's portions that you can climb that you wouldn't think of. And there's the organ bank. Because every once in a while somebody needs a new kidney. If we want, we could actually jump out and go down to those sewers. But I'm going to say it's not really worth it. Our little guy is pretty tough too. He's taken a lot of damage as well. I don't think there's anything over this way, but we do see that. No! Tony, go back and get it. So all these things that we're fighting with, these grasshoppers and dragonflies, these are all alien invaders that are like these weirdo cybernetic monsters. Still getting damaged even while we're out of it. Okay, let's see what this trash can has. Add something. Sure looks like Metal Mech is getting damaged. But nah, look at it, its health is fine. So this is pretty much it. This is gonna be the entire game. Except for apparently those areas where we get out of our mech. And it goes to a, like, different type of uh, play style. Which I was not aware of. I don't know if we're going to make it that far. Oh, no! Thankfully, Tony is a expert jumper, and this is no problem for him. It feels like we need to go up a little higher, doesn't it? See, I told you, we could climb things you wouldn't expect. I wasn't expecting to climb that telephone pole. I remember the very first time I played this. I jumped out of the mech, and I walked the entire stage on foot through the sewers. That was a, uh... <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was not how the game was intended to be played. did see something down in the sewers, so let's go get it. Now, I don't know what those things are. Maybe they're, uh, maybe they're rats? But they are hard to shoot, and they will hurt you. In fact, Tony is just about dead. I thought they hurt us. They don't seem to be hurting us. Oh, there we go. We're dead. We blew up more spectacularly than the robot did. I 
I don't know if we have a certain number of lives or if we have unlimited lives. Oh, we landed on the roof. Alright. So I've just gotta walk to the end of the stage now. At least I think. No, I guess we still need more stuff. find all the uh, keys or parts to get out of the area. Now, I don't think it tells us if we have everything, does it? Because we got the little icons down there. At least let's try to finish this first stage. We may have missed something in the sewers. Maybe we missed something up a telephone pole. Yeah, like whatever that is. We are pretty safe down here. Except for those little rats. I just think they're rats. I don't know if they actually are. Alright, let's get back to Metal Neck. garbage cans. See if there's anything in there. Not the gray one. Well, let's climb. Climb up here, see if there's anything. Nope. See, look at that. We can even climb the trees. Let's go to the end of the game, see if, well, the end of the game, the end of the stage, see if that's, if that's everything we need. so tough we could just casually walk past everything. I 
There's a lot of uh, destructible environment. Kind of reminds me of Rampage. Alright, we did it. Level completed. Okay, now it's time for level two. Sadly though, it's a lot of the same. The environment does mix up a little bit. I think in the instruction manual they said this is the towers. I'm gonna find a lot of areas down here where Metal Neck just can't go. But Tony, on the other hand, can explore this area much more easily. Sadly though, this is this is kinda it. Except for those like I don't even know what how you want to describe those stages where we're playing as Tony. It looks like we're floating through like an alien environment. top and work our way down. This is a very vertical stage. Like, very vertical. Holy cow. We're at the top and then there's still this whole other area. something. There's like a skull tank. I feel like that's something out of a cartoon. Like a Masters of the Universe type thing. Didn't Hordak and the Horde have one of those? Like a, like a tank that, the, that, the, that, the, that the, the, the front of it was a skull. Of course there was a power up in the bathroom. That was a tough little tank. Now I don't think Tony's gonna make it much longer. Nope, Tony blew up. Alright, but I do believe that's enough. That's enough to get an idea of what Metal metal mech has to offer for you. Oh, we can take the elevator up. And, you know, I wasn't. I'm really not having a lot of fun playing this. But I can see what they were going for. But this game was from 91. We already had stuff like Blaster Master that did it so much better. But there you go. That's uh that's Metal Mech, Man and Machine. We're stuck. We're stuck doing our dance. Alright, well, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next game. Take care.